Ó. Ah, uh, Hamjambo, karibu kwa darasa letu la leo. Mimi ninaitwa Abdul Karim. Uh, so this lesson is about the passive form of Swahili verbs. Passive form of Swahili verbs. You know, uh, guys, you know, you have to learn verbs in any other language. You need to have to equip yourself with enough verbs. And you also need to learn how to use those verbs. Sasa. So, so. So, for example, you can harm yourself with uh, any, no, not harm, you can arm yourself with uh, just a good number of verbs in any language. But if you don't know how to use them, now they'll be just like a burden to you. So you have to learn how to use these verbs correctly so that you improve your Swahili language or the language, any other language that you are learning. So, so. And for this case, it is Swahili. So, Kwa hivyo, today we are going to talk about how to form passive verbs in Swahili. You know, the verbs, normally they are not in, in passive form, but we add some extension to, to make them to be passive in Kiswahili. So that's, the whole concept is called mnyambuliko wa vitenzi. Mnyambuliko wa vitenzi. Kitenzi is one verb, vitenzi is a number of verbs, many. So, so mnyambuliko is how we add uh, some suffixes to verb to the verb stem to bring out different meaning and one of the meaning is there to be in the passive form uh, so as I have written here we have uh, two types of the passive markers two types of the passive markers the first one is this ending w w and the second uh, and the second uh, you won't see me when I go like this one but no problem. Just listen to the sound. Yeah? And the second one is uh, this uh, E W and I W and E W or E W. So, so those are two types of the passive markers that we are used. We use to add to the verb stem. So, so, so today we're going to learn how to use those markers. The first part the use of this passive marker this one with regular verb stem so, so with the regular verb stem so we have here uh, a number of verbs here one two three four moja mbili tatu nne there are four that we are going to deal with them uh to example to any to give examples with them so just to clarify this you know, when I say, maybe some people won't understand this concept of uh, passive unless I have to just explain to you uh, vividly. For example, when I write, like when I write, ninaandika, nikiandika ma ninaandika, so that is, a, it is just in andika, andika, it is in imperative form, andika, so, so when those words are written, Eh, the words are written. Trasema, mandishi ya meandikwa. So it becomes andikwa, to be written. Andika, to write. Andikwa, to be written. Sawa, sawa. Piga, to beat. Piga. Piga. Eh? Pigwa, to be beaten. Sawa, to be beaten. Pigwa, to be beaten. So those are the things that we're going to encounter in this lesson. Let's start with the first verb, soma, soma, eh? soma. Take a book and start soma. Nina soma kitabu, nina soma kitabu. Kitabu, kitabu, ungoja ni chukue kitabu hapa. Uh, kita, kitabu, kitabu, kitabu. Nina soma kitabu, soma. Uh, mwalimu anacheza, mwalimu anafundisha uh, kitabu. Nina soma kitabu. Sawa. Hichi kitabu. 
daftari 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 kitabu daftari sawa soma eh uh -huh. soma then it become somwa somwa sawa mimi ninasoma kitabu kitabu kinasomwa kitabu kinasomwa so now we are uh, giving reference to the book i am reading a book the book is being read sawa somwa to be read to be read sawa sawa the second verb funga funga eh funga nifunge mlango sawa mimi ninaenda kufunga mlango sasa hivi ninaenda ninaenda kufunga mlango Uh, ninafunga mlango ninafunga mlango nataka angalie nikifunga mlango sawa funga mlango nimefunga mlango sawa kisha tutasema nini mlango umefungwa hapa inakuwa funga umeona nikifunga mlango kisha fungwa mlango umefungwa mlango 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 umefungwa sawa mimi nimefunga mlango mlango umefungwa sawa 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 you have here uh, another one is beba 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 nimebeba nimebeba daftari nimebeba daftari mimi nimebeba daftari Ume, umebeba nini nimebeba daftari na kalamu na chaki nimebeba beba beba sawa nimebeba kisha beba eh itakuwa be itakuwa bebwa be bwa You see we just what you're doing here we are taking this fixing this one between this and this so here in the first case it become somwa we fixed this one and then in the second part funga it became fungwa we put this one right sawa sawa then beba it become bebwa bebwa you know bebwa sawa sasa hapa beba mimi nimebeba kitabu sawa so, mimi ah, hichi si kitabu daftari wacha nichukue kitabu mimi nimebeba kitabu sawa so, nimebeba kitabu nimebeba kitabu kishwa kisha bebwa itakuwa bebwa kitabu kimebebwa na mimi sawa so, kitabu kimebebwa na mimi sawa kitabu kimebebwa na mimi unaelewa unaelewa si ndio mimi nimebeba kitabu sawa on this it will be kitabu kimebebwa na mimi sawa sawa unafahamu sawa we come to this safisha 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 you know uh, when safisha uh, some some place is dirty and you have to make it be no i won't give the exact meaning in english but you just have to know when a place is dirty you have to make it do to make it what so that it is it become comfortable that is safisha so i won't explain that in english you know i'm trying as much as possible to not use english <laughs> to i'm using english in explanation i am i'm speaking english najiangusha bana najiangusha safisha safishwa safishwa safisha safishwa sawa sawa safisha safishwa so uh, when this when uh, for example hili darasa likiwa chafu 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 uh, chafu in something dirty dirty chafu safi safi is clean chafu is dirty so safi so the act of cleaning is safisha safisha no when you go to clean to clean a class 
you unasafisha darasa unasafisha darasa so the class is being cleaned tunasema darasa linasafishwa so we don't say uh, darasa linasafisha so so it is passive form i hope you understanding me this part uh, so uh, i'll i'll give you some examples in uh, sentences with the first verb actually i did i gave you examples uh, while i was explaining but i just want to give you another example mwalimu anasoma kitabu mwalimu mwalimu anasoma kitabu aha uh, uh-huh. america iko upande gani uh, ndio afrika imeingia hapa sawa mwalimu anasoma kitabu sawa kitabu sawa kitabu kinasomwa na mwalimu kitabu kinasomwa na mwalimu sawa mwalimu mimi ni mwalimu sawa kitabu kinasomwa na mwalimu hapa funga nilieleza mlango mimi ninafunga mlango sawa mlango unafungwa na mimi sawa mlango unafungwa na mimi hapa beba mimi nimebeba kitabu kitabu kimebebwa na mimi sawa mtoto anasafisha meza meza inasafishwa safishwa na mtoto sawa just changing into the passive form of the verb uh, now here uh, this is just the first part of this video uh, the the topic i have just hidden it let me adjust so that you can see the topic uh, the topic is the passive form of sohil verb so we have dealt with this one so we will go uh, in the next video we will go and deal with this e sound you know we have these regular verbs and no we have the other ones that are irregular verbs the irregular verb stem the ones that have irregular verbs you know this one you can just see soma fungwa bebwa we have other ones that have they have the ending instead of this m we have another vowel like we have we have another consonant like l we have a w we have a y so those are they have irregular verb stems and also the mono uh, the what no the, the monosyllabic verb stem we also fall in that category that we will be discussing in the next video guys asante sana kwa kutazama video yangu na wasihi tafadhali subscribe ili tuweze kujifunza Kiswahili sawa sawa kwa heri kuwa na siku njema tukutane kwa darasa lingine sawa darasa lingine kwa heri